Okay, so true story. Um, I don't know how many of you guys do this. I'm always taking off with my scissors that are supposed to stay at the sewing machine. It's like it's like I, I cut a thread and then I take it with me back to my work table. And then I come back to the sewing machine and dag nab it. Guess what? The scissors aren't there. So what is my solution? I tied it to the sewing machine with some nylon twine some really strong so that if I try to take off with it, it's like yoink. <laughs> uh, it's like a, it's like a bank and their pens, right? So you don't take off with their pens. I figured this is the only way I can, I can like keep myself from stealing my own scissors. Hey guys, it's Nick the Booksmith. Welcome back. Welcome back. Today I thought I would, um, show you how I organize some of my supplies and I thought I would start with um, like washi tape, stickers, labels, that kind of thing. And I'm not talking about washi tape on, you know, on rolls because that's, you know, that's a different story. Today we're going to talk about printable washi tape, um, labels, stickers, and that kind of thing. So um, that that's what we will tackle today. So um, a lot of times people just keep a lot of their stickers and ephemera all kinds of things just kind of in a shoe box or, well, you know, you guys, have we've all been there, right? You get to a point where you spend more time looking for something <laughs> sometimes than it would take just to print another one. And let's be honest, that just wastes label paper and time and, well, you know. So I thought I would show you just some tricks for getting some organization um, done and in a very simple, simple way. All right, so what I have is a couple of things. I have a binder and this is a one inch, just plain cheapo binder. Um, of course, right before school starts this time of year, these are fairly inexpensive. And then also I have a packet of um, page protectors that can go on the inside and you can get like, you know, 50 for just a couple of bucks. So um, you can adapt these in all kinds of ways. So let me show you what I, what I do. So let's start first with um, the washi tape strips. I go, I usually go ahead and cut them up you know, somewhat. So I'm going to take a page protector, like so. I'm going to set the binder aside. So here is the uh, page protector. And then I'm going to take just a piece of cardstock. And this is just regular, plain, cheap, cardstock is is all it is i'm just going to mark my center just so i have like a a guide point here so center and center now there's a couple things you can do at this point you can slide this in and sew straight down the middle if you'd like. If you have a sewing machine, just zoop, sew right down the middle. Or if you don't have a sewing machine or you just don't feel like it, you can grab some glue or some uh, double-sided sticky tape, which is what I'm going to do at this moment. So I'm just gonna put the sticky tape like this and stretch it all the way to the top just like that. And then I'm going to just kind of let it fold over on itself and stretch this all the way down to this end to meet the middle on the bottom. And I'll show you why. So I, I didn't, um, do it perfectly over I left a little a little tab so that I could cut it so that it is it would be easier to put inside 
the envelope and then take the tape off because I can't imagine taking the tape off and then trying to put it in the uh, page protector. I'm thinking that would be, you know, disastrous, horrible things waiting to happen, right? So this is just going to be our support. Slide that in there and then I'm just going to peel away the the backing on the tape. Make it make sure it slid all the way down and pull that backing off. And lay it down and smooth that out. And then again on the other side. And then this side. So now you have two, two pockets. Well, they have four actually, um, but two on each side. And then they have this support in the middle, which I think for me is important because I don't want my pages all flippity, flippity floppity. <laughs> it's a technical term. And then I'm going to take some more cardstock, just a, you know, another full piece, and I'm going to cut some um, four inch long strips. So here's one, here's one four inch long strip here. And then I'm going to take another four inch little piece, but this is, oh, about three and three quarters inches. I think what I did is I tried to uh, divide 11 by four so that I could get four pieces out of here. And then I just folded it in half because what I want to do is I'm going to fold this over the bottom so that it it sandwiches the cardstock strip in the middle. And then I'm going to staple and staple. And then that way I have a pocket. And I went ahead and just folded it over on the back so that I didn't have to staple along the bottom. It's basically my only <laughs> my only reason there. And then um, I have some um, little tabs that I punched out and I put some words on them that coincide with the with the washi tape. So I'm just going to grab one of these and I'm going to fold that in half because this is one of the fold over kinds. Not necessary. You can use the regular ones or just cut out a rectangle or something. And then I'm going to grab some glue because um, it's fast. And put a little glue on there. There we go. And I made I made some more. There's one for birds in here somewhere. There it is. And because these are going to be going in the same uh, page protector, one's going to go like this. And then I'm going to put one here. So I'm going to want to stagger my I'm going to want to stagger my, uh, you know, tabs. So once you get it down, however you want to stagger them, it should be pretty, pretty much the same all the way through. So these two are just going to be on the left and the right, either side. This one in here, so this is for birds. And this one's for maps. And turn that over. 
and then this one I'm going to put here like this and if you want it to show on both sides you can you know definitely you know uh, pr paste that on both sides if you would like or print that label the whatever it is the birds the maps the the po you know that that stuff so this one it says chintz i'm going to put it on the opposite side over here and then that way when it gets inserted you'll be able to see easily from this side all the different, you know, all the different ones. And then I'll, I'll do Poe. And this will have to get set kind of over toward, oops, wrong side, over towards the middle. So it'll have to go on the opposite, opposite side. And then this slides in on the side, just like so. So then from this side, you can see the birds, Poe, chintz, and maps. And then that way, when you load them up, so let's say here's some. So here's the bird ones. And you slide right down in here and then the pocket catches them down at the bottom and then here's maps so these slide down in here into this pocket and then you've you know such and so forth but you're thinking because i hear you but what if i've got like little pieces left over and i want i know i know i hear you i hear you i'm hearing you so I'll check that out later. So what I'm going to do for that is I have taken one of the full sleeves page protectors and I cut it down into two sections and I, I kind of split it in half and then I just cut out, there's a middle, there's a middle hole here. So, and I cut that out. So I just kind of cut on either side. And so these are four inch tall pieces. One was on the top and one was on the bottom. So there's a couple things that we can do. Um, we can tape, we can glue, we can sew. That will be, that will be up to you. Now one of these um, halves, um, you know, it has, you can put your hand all the way through it. And then this one was the bottom half. So half of your work is, you know, done for you because the bottom half was already, you know, closed. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take one of these four inch sleeves and I'm going to mark um, kind of my center point just so I know, so I know what I'm doing here. I've got a I've got my bearings And this one was the bottom half so the it's already uh, got it's closed at the bottom and There's a couple things that you could do here um, you can use double-sided sticky tape and uh, Sticky tape the middle together and then sticky tape the top because this is going to be the top um, this is going to be the top of a flap. Um, it's not you're not going to insert anything inside of this sleeve particularly, or you could use some glue if you would like. Either way, totally okay. I'm just going to take some of this double-sided tape and run it down the middle. that and then I'm going to take another piece and I'm going to go along the top edge of the same pocket I'll put this behind it so we can maybe it'll help you see a little bit better 
So I'm just going to run my sticky sticky along the top edge. of this little four inch page protector strip. I went a little too far, okay. Cut that off. And I used the sticky tape with the red back so that you'd be to see this a little easier on camera. So now all I need to do is remove the tape down here. Just be careful not to stick your whole envelope together. So easy to do. I kind of just stick my hands in on either side and just gently let that fall back down in the middle and then I take the tape off of the top edge and of course if this was the other sleeve that has the open up you know both ends open you can do you do this on both sides sticky tape everything everything together there we go so now we have this little this little pocket here. So what I like to do is now it will lay on top of one of the sides and it will become the little pocket for whichever one it's in front of. Does that make sense? So let me slide the, the washi tape out real quick. And I'll just leave the holes on because it can it can get put onto the onto the uh, binder clips the same way. So you can do it either way. You can run the tape. I guess I'll I'd be easier to do it on this. So I'm just going to run some tape along the edges here. And down the middle, not along the top though. Doesn't need it along the top. That. And if you're sitting there going, oh my gosh, Nick, why don't you just, and then, you know, insert your resolution there, um, do that. <laughs> just, do, just do it that way. And I probably don't have to run one along this side, but I'm going to do it anyway. So now I just peel the tape off. Or the the tape backing, I should say. Easier said than done. Go. And this gets just lined up with the binder holes in the top and the bottom and everything. And because we didn't put any tape in the top, now we have two open, two open areas right in there. So that if you have little extras, do I have any little extras? Well, like here's a little Poe extra. It can just slide down in there and it'll be, except I'll put it on the Poe side. So it'll be easier to get to um, than the big old long strips. Does that make sense? So I would do that on both sides. So that is how I keep washi tape and everything is is compact and together and pretty simple. I think it's pretty simple. Um, the, this little slide in and out 
um, system is nice because you can even keep shorter strips in here if you want to. You just pull this up and grab it if you want. Um, that's what I think is kind of nice about the pull-up tab system. And with the middle cardstock, that support in the middle that is actually attached with the sticky tape to the, the uh, sleeve, the page protector, it just keeps everything in its, you know, in its spots. So there's that. Now for um, maybe some smaller labels that you really don't need uh, you know, full sides for. Let me show you what I'm going to do with that. I'm going to take just a reg regular piece of, again, regular piece of cardstock, and I'm going to mark the, maybe, I'm going to mark the center up and down and also side to side. So, of course, then I knock it off my, off my grid lines. So let me pencil and then is about there ish and you can do that on both sides if you you know so desire that half one two three four five okay it didn't look like half there for a second <laughs> okay so now I've got um, my up and down, middle, everything. And what I'm going to do is um, I want to figure out where I want my openings at for my labels. This will be for my labels or smaller stickers. And I think that I'm going to want them about an inch and a half from the top of each of the four sections. So... I will just mark down right here, just kind of give myself a little bit of a guide. There we go. So there, there is that. And I'm gonna slide this back in here. So what I want to do um, first is I put the card back in the sleeve because I'm going to take some of this uh, this mailing shipping label paper stuff that I use to print the washi tape on and I cut it into one inch strips and I am going to because I wanted to I wanted to see where my where my little marks were going to be. So I'm just gonna take this piece of shipping label tape, try to get it on there somewhat evenly, and tape that all the way across. Not sticking to me. <laughs> and it's hard to see where which, which, when you take the paper off, sometimes it's hard to see if there's still some sticky, sticky label on there or not. I don't want to throw away the strip that hasn't been used yet. Okay, there it is. And this one. Flip it over. And this one. Try to put it in the same spot the other ones were in. And is there one more? I hope so. And <laughs> the other one was about, I guess I could take this out. I'll take this out now <laughs> so I can see what I'm doing because they need to line up. one goes there. All right. Make sure that's folded down well. Put the card back in. I know this seems like musical chairs. <laughs> musical chairs. 
Or I guess I can put it behind it. Duh. That'd be easier. So I'm going to make it like a dot here and a dot here and a dot here and there. Just in the middle, about a half an inch from the edges. And then I'm going to take my my crocodile and I'm going to put it on the smallest hole punch. Some of these didn't pop all the way through. Okay, now I'm going to take a ruler and a craft knife and I'm going to make little openings from these punch hole to punch hole. So I'm just, that's just kind of my guide, the punch holes were, so I didn't go too far. But I want to cut through the, the hole, um, both, both edges, both sides. Sure that's cut okay cut it all the way through and then this one You don't have to eyeball it. You can you can actually measure it so that you, the slices are, you know, even. Now you put the card in. Easier said than, than done when there's little slices that you have to... It's like trying to put on jeans with, like, you know, rips in the knees. You keep getting your toes caught and the stupid... Yeah, you guys know. You, you, you got me. Not that I wear jeans with holes in them. But sometimes I do, I guess. It was a look at one time. Much to my mother's chagrin, I think. All right, ah, oh, finally. Okay, so now, now, I am going to sew from top to bottom from side to side, and then close up the top. I will be right back and I will show you what that looks like. Okay, so now it is all sewn. And I gotta cut that. And now you have two sides and each side has a little pocket. I wanted to be able to see um, my labels for one, but I didn't want to be able to see through to the next page. Does that make sense? So that's why I put the cardstock in the middle and then created little little pockets instead. And I know you can buy the little pocket protector things for like baseball cards and that kind of, well, I didn't have any. <laughs> so we're just adapting what we have. Um, this is just, you know, using what you got because this is what you got and you don't have anything else. So. What's great about these is then you can go on to, you know, you can make little labels if you want, but I mean, it'd be pretty self-explanatory if you put stickers in here, you know, what they're from. Although, I think it would be great to have little page tabs that you could attach to the side over here so that, you know, while the binder is closed, you can, you know, flip through and see what, see what you got. Does that... Does that make sense? Is that Kimosabe? Okay. So here is the birds one again. We can put put our stuff back in here. Here's my here's my maps and my burbs. So here's my burbs. So they go they go where the burbs go. And I don't have any short pieces to put in the little section in front at the moment. But it's there in case I need it. And then the maps one goes in there. 
and flip it over because Poe is here and then the chintz fabric which um, I put up a bunch of new um, washi uh, printables and this is one of them it's all chintz fabric and here's some of the ones that are all sliced up into slippity slices so three inches will fit in there these three that I haven't cut apart yet and then the ones that I have cut can pop in there and then this one is the Poe so let's grab me some Poe here Oh, those are the thank you ones. I think I only have two Poe right now. Two strips of Poe. Just like that. Nice. And then when I get little pieces, then I can just pop them into these little pockets that I want, if I want to. And then what's so nice, like I said before, is you just, you know, pull that out and grab a piece and pop it back in there and it, you know goes right back in and then this one will be for smaller stickers that I can put in here little labels and that kind of thing like some like some little denison style labels that can go can go in there but I thought I would take the opportunity to grab uh, where did I put the binder oh here it is the binder take out that this is just a piece of like manila something or other and I'm just going to put on the label washi and labels. Because a lot of times I'll print out stuff but I don't use it right away. And of course, that could be decorated much more than just a plain piece of uh, this manila scratch paper. And I think this can be, no, it's got a sticker. It's just a sticker, but nobody wants that sticker on there. Put this one in there. And I'll put this one on top. And then of course, you know, you can keep adding and adding and adding and um, there's all kinds of ways that, you know, you could probably think to adapt these for all kinds of things. I want to get all my little scraps that I'm going to be using routinely organized into um, this, this particular three ring binder so that I can just kind of grab it and go. So um, if I do anything else, I'll, I'll show you what, I, what it is that I do do. And maybe it will spark some inspiration for maybe something that you would need to adapt some page protectors for. And I know they make sturdier page protectors. They make them out of more of a, a thicker plastic. Oh, I'm putting it in the wrong one. That's why. Um, so, so you can get the thicker ones if you want. This is what they had. It was actually at the grocery store. So it's kind of like beggars cannot be choosers at that point. You're at the grocery store and they have w one kind. So you get what you get, what you are given and you are happy to have it. But I think I will um, continue to adapt my my little page protectors for all kinds of things but that was really all I was going to show you today um, I've been getting a lot of questions about how I organize you know my craft supplies and stuff so I thought well maybe this is the beginning of you know how I can show you how I tame the squirrels I don't know. I'm one of those people that I, I hide stuff. It seems like I hide stuff from myself. You guys like that? It's like, it's like you, you say, you just saw something. You literally, like within 
a day have seen something in particular and now for the life of you cannot remember where in the world it was that you even saw it let alone find it <laughs> that's like my life that's my life so i really need to get um um my ducks in a row and and get myself more organized than i already am i'm somewhat organized but i'm not going to pretend i i'm not even going to pretend to be like super organized because i'm not i'm not i'm just not <laughs> i will never probably be so i'm not even going to pretend to be Here's another one that I did and it's ready to put the sleeves in. So I'll go ahead and put this one in here. I haven't made the little um, slidey outy things yet. Um, like for the for the washi tape, but I will I will put together another set as soon as I print off some more washi. And then I'm gonna put my stickers in here. I could also put my labels in here too if I wanted to punch out a bunch of these little labels and put those in there and then they would be ready to rock and roll sometimes i end up like if i have like a scrap piece of cardstock or something and i'm i need to punch out one or two things sometimes if i just go ahead and punch out like all i can fit on the paper and then just throw the little you know the little extra bits that you can't use anymore away so that i don't have like a little scrap of this and a scrap of that and i think it would be an excellent idea if i could get myself to do it to do that on a routine basis, to go ahead and use up a piece of paper, either punch something out of it or cut a label or whatever it is, cut a shape, punch a shape or something and put it away for use for the next time and then throw the scrap away and, and get rid of some of the little odds and ends that just plague, they plague me, they plague me. You know, they're everywhere. They are just, they're literally, literally everywhere. And that is not even an exaggeration. So the reason why I use the shipping tape is um, on these little pockets is because it's so strong and it can take some beating. You know, it can take some, some use without ripping. So that's why I didn't just slice it and use it as is. Although I must say, that if you get the heavier, thicker page protectors, you might not even have to do the shipping label paper trick to reinforce that little slice. So let me know what you do if you do anything like this. I'm sure there are some of you guys out there that already have certain organizational things in place for, you know, for your stuff. See, because I've got address labels and I've got some thank you strips that I put on packages. So I need to make up a couple more of these little slidey outy pockets to put in this next sleeve. And then I can label those and have those ready to rock and roll. But I love the idea. As much as I don't do it, it's probably because I, I, I get so busy and then I just don't take the time. And I need to take the time because I love the idea of flipping through a binder and seeing what I have right now and knowing if I have to make something and not rifling through a box somewhere or one of four boxes or 10 boxes or whatever the case may be to know if I have something or not. So maybe that will be the next video. I'll get out a box. <laughs> Once that is like, again, like watching paint dry, get out a box of scraps and I just go through it and either punch something out of it or slice it up into a label or, you know, stuff that I can and put it away and put it away. Cause I love organized. I love things that are organized, but I get into a creative frenzy and I can't be bothered. That's just my reality. That is just, that is just the, uh, the ADHD kicking in when it does and there's there's no stopping it. I wish there was I wish there was a way. But unless you knock me out and put me in a coma, <laughs> it's just not going to happen. But let's try. Maybe it'll help some of you too that have a problem with keeping your crap together. <laughs> it's really that's what I should have named this. 
keeping my crap together. The stuff that has been arranged and not a pile. You know, all that stuff. But I'm going to cut out like my little wings and I could put those, you know. Especially if I'm like, like it's late and I really, there's like not enough light or energy to start on anything in particular that is intensive or needs a lot of detail. I can sit, you know, while the news is on or whatever, you know, whatever it is that we watch. I, I don't even know. I rarely watch TV, but I do watch some cartoons at night. <laughs> Guilty. This is my confession time here. I still watch cartoons. So I think it's a, uh, you know, a childhood comfort throwback thing. I'm, I'm sure it is. But I could sit and cut stuff like this out and then be able to put it away. And then it would be ready to go and I'm not waiting to the last moment to do like everything which can be a buzz kill it can be such a time sucker and you know so i could i could have a wangs it could be a wangs pocket i think that's an excellent idea and i could i could separate my wings and have one for dragonflies and one for moths and one for butterflies because i've got 50 you know, page protectors here, so I can just, I can just uh, go hog wild and make as many of these pages as I want. That's the plan anyway. You can either watch me, you know, start to, you know, get more organized, or you can watch me fail miserably. How's that? It'll be fun. It's a game. It'll be a game. I hope this helps some of you to kind of think of some ways to adapt these cheapo page protectors so that um, you too can get your act together. Um, I love you all very, very much and thank you for hanging out with me today and uh, I will see you all really, really soon in the next video. Bye guys!